guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, mm -mm, kisses. My name is Rosie for short. And today I want to share my favorites for the month of February. Since I didn't make one for the month of January. And I really miss doing that video. So here I am back. And this time I am not alone. As you can see, I have someone here with me. And that is Mishy. And she's never around with me, but for some reason, when I'm about to film, she likes being near me. Or maybe it's the camera, I don't know. Or maybe she wants to be in the video. <laughs> so as always, I have a little bit of everything to share. And yes, I'm really excited to make this video because it's the first favorites of this year for 2017. So yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so I want to begin with a few favorites from the store Lush. I'm not sure if this store is available in other countries. I think it is just, just a new film. But it is one of my favorites. One, because they always make really good products that are natural. They are 100% cruelty free. So all of their products are either vegetarian or vegan, which I love that and well, my boyfriend got me two things from there as a gift and it was so unexpected. I didn't know he was gonna bring me this so randomly. And well, one of those items that he got for me is this perfume and the name is Vanillary. I think that's how you say it, but it smells just like vanilla and I love it. And one of the things that I love about their products is that it tells you on the bottle who made it, when they made it, the date, the exact date, and when it's going to expire. So I really like that. It's like a personal touch and you get to see the name of the employee who made it. So I really like that. And well, this is the one that I have been using every single day. And you only need one spray because it will make your whole room smell like vanilla. It is strong. But I like that because it will last all day and the scent is so sweet and feminine. And this is the first perfume that I have from Lush. So yeah, I love it and oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells wonderful. So yes, have to love it. <laughs> okay, the other thing that I have from Lush is Let the Good Times Roll and it's this bottle right here and basically this is a face and body cleanser and again on the back I think it's so adorable it's so cute that they add even a sticker of the person who made it look at that so I think that's so nice and this was made by Jeffrey and it was made on December 29th <laughs> and it tells you use by March 29th so I I have about a month to use this but what I love about this is the way it works and the ingredients that it has so let me tell you a few of the things that it has so it has corn oil it has corn meal cinnamon powder gardenia extract and the main main ingredient popcorn so I thought it was so funny that it's so natural that it has popcorn and my first impression when I opened this, it smells so good. It doesn't smell like popcorn at all, at least not to me. And it's supposed to be sweet and salty at the same time. And if you follow me on Snapchat, then you already saw this. But it is so natural that it literally contains popcorn. Can you believe it? Look. Hopefully you can see that, but it literally has popcorn inside and I couldn't stop laughing. I thought it was so funny. It was so hilarious. I've never seen this before that they had popcorn, but that's what makes it so unique and it makes it stand out. So yeah, this is the one that I have been using on my body. I use this on my face and I also cleanse my tummy area and my stretch marks. So yeah, this is what I've been using and it smells so good. And when I use this on my face, I don't feel the necessity to apply anything extra to hydrate my skin because I think this is more than enough. It leaves the skin 
exfoliated it leaves the skin hydrated and at the same time oh and the other thing the texture it's kind of grainy kind of like sand so that's what makes it good to exfoliate so love it <laughs> Okay, the next brand that I want to talk about, and if you've seen my videos, you know how much I love this brand, and it is 100% pure. And I love this brand because, as the name implies, all of their products are 100% pure. So, I love that about them, and so I want to share two things that I got. So, it's hard to pick one, but I'm going to begin with this one. And this is the pink grapefruit whipped body butter. So if you go to their website, they usually have what is the ingredient of the month or the scent of the month. And so I got this one, I believe it was grapefruit. I think it was the ingredient of the month. And so they had like a 20% discount, I believe. So that's when I got it. and. Just like the name says, grapefruit, that's the way it smells and it smells so, so wonderful. It smells so good. It has a citric scent and it's wonderful. This is what I have been using on my skin because to be honest, I was really bad with hydrating my skin, especially my legs. My legs are always dry, so this is what I have been using on my legs, but I also use this on my arms, my tummy, my stretch marks everywhere, so love it. And the other thing that I have is this foundation. And this is the second skin foundation, that's the name. And this is the second one that I have. It's a different one from um, another favorite one that I had mentioned, but I think I like this one more than the other one. Now that I've tried this one, it has fruit pigment and I like that. And this is, I think this is the first makeup that makes me feel comfortable wearing in case I do go to bed and sleep with makeup on. This is like the first brand that I would feel comfortable leaving on the whole night. I know it's always recommended to wash your face and never go to sleep with makeup, but it has really good ingredients that they're so good for your skin that I wouldn't even mind going to sleep with this. I just don't do it because everything on my bed is white. I wouldn't want my bed to have makeup. But other than that, I love it. And I'm gonna tell you a few of the really good ingredients that it has. So it has olive, it has peach, pomegranate, it has cocoa, it has coffee beans, rosemary, vitamin E, and those are just a few. So this is what I love about this brand. And my first impression is that I thought this was not going to work or that I was not going to like it, but it had really good reviews. So I thought, okay, I might as well try it. And the first impression is that the consistency is so watery like it's not like even liquid it's when you apply like it if you don't act quick it might get your clothes dirty and it's happened to me a few times so i'm always like on the sink with my head and try not to get any makeup on my clothes <laughs> but i thought because it's so liquidy like it's so <laughs> i think i made that word up but i thought it was not gonna give me full coverage that I'm always looking for because I have black areas on my face from previous acne so I'm trying to get rid of that and I thought it was not gonna give me enough coverage and in fact this is the foundation that I have on right now now that I did my makeup and I like it I love that it gives full coverage and at the same time, it feels so light. It's not like the regular foundation that it's kind of like a lotion, like a cream. This is more like a liquid. It's so lightweight. And yeah, I just love everything about this. So right now, this is my favorite one. And after I run out of this one, I think I'm going to get this again because it's so good. And I love how good it feels on my skin. <laughs> Okay, the next thing that I want to talk about, and this would have been a favorite for the month of January, and it's my agenda. So I got this because this is the way I keep myself organized. Without this, I would be a whole mess. <laughs> 
So I know there's different sizes. There's like the small, I call this the medium size, and then the big one. And to me, for my needs, for <clears throat> for my needs, for my lifestyle, this is perfect. And it's not so big. It's not so small. It gives me plenty of space to write. And I also like how it has all these little tabs for each month. And you open it and it gives you the whole overview of the month but if you want to add more things then you have more space for that and at the end it also has several pages to add a lot of notes and this is where I add like my ideas for other videos for blog posts it's just so handy to have and I'm also trying to incorporate using the app Evernote I have it on my laptop and my iPhone but something I don't like is that sometimes changes that I make on my iPhone will not appear right away on my laptop or vice versa. So that's the only downside I see to Evernote that it doesn't sync or it doesn't update so quickly as I wish it did. And another thing that um, I try to do with my agenda is that I try to keep my list of to-do short because i've seen that in the past if i do a long list it has the opposite effect on me like if i see a long list it makes me not want to do things it gets me overwhelmed or it makes me feel stressed out and i didn't like how that was making making me feel so one thing that i realized that works for me is that i keep my list short from three to five things and i always start my day like that i always start with the most important things that i have to do and as i finish up with those things i check them off or cross it out and then i keep adding and that works for me but other than that if i just see a long list that does not work for me so yeah so i just keep my list short that's what's been working for me so yeah gotta have an agenda to get things done <laughs> so another thing that i really really liked and this is gonna be snack a healthy snack as always is lara bar so this is the protein bar that i've been having for many months now so i don't know how i forgot to even mention this but this is the peanut butter chocolate chip protein bar so delicious so yummy and it is gluten-free, it is dairy-free, vegan and kosher. And I love it. I love the taste. It has dates. That is the main ingredient. It has peanuts. It has semi-sweet chocolate chips. It has sugar, cocoa butter, sea salt. And yeah, they have a lot of different flavors. I've also tried coconut, which is really good. I've tried lemon, amazing, and I've tried the blueberry one, but to be honest, I did not like the blueberry one a lot, and there's another one that I gave George to try. I can't remember which one he got, so that's the one that I'm missing to taste, but this is my favorite one. This is the one that I love having with milk, either almond milk, that is vanilla, if not chocolate, or I put this in my purse and I have this as a snack when I'm working so love it it's healthy and it's so so delicious I recommend it to you guys <laughs> and the last thing that I want to share it's something different and it's a movie and I'm really late on this and most of you guys might have seen these movies but they are Narnia movies I know they came out like many years ago, but I am so late and that's because I really don't see a lot of movies and now that I'm with George, I'm trying, I've been watching more movies lately, so that's why I saw it, but other than that, I barely see any movies unless they are documentaries, I love documentaries, but one of the reasons why it caught my attention is because it's science fiction and I love science fiction and so I think that's what caught my attention that it is science fiction 
and that's one of my favorite categories um, I guess you can say um, and I was so into the movie from the very beginning from the first one and I say that my favorite two were the first and second movie the third one I really did miss seeing the other the two older siblings and it was just different not seeing them so much in the movie but one of the things that got me thinking and maybe you guys might be able to explain this to me because I didn't understand okay well in the second movie there's a scene when they are going into a cave and then on one of the rocks you can see the four siblings and it's kind of like a preview of what's going to happen so I took it as one of the siblings, one of the sisters was going to to get pregnant with the prince or the king because well his dad died so he would be the king right I thought the the big sister was going to have a baby with the king that was my first idea I thought that was really going to happen and because they had a crush on each other so that's what I thought and another thing that I got confused, well, in the first movie, in the world of Narnia, the years pass by so, so quickly. So we even get to see them as grown-ups. Well, from the second movie to the third movie, they were the same characters. So I thought they were going to be different characters. So um, I really didn't think that we were going to see the king again. And then the little sister kind of starts getting a crush on him but then he likes the big sister but then um they never got to see each other again so so that was a little bit confusing for me but other than that they are great movies i really enjoyed watching all three and yeah and i think that's a movie that even kids would love love to see <laughs> okay so that's it you guys these are my favorites if you have liked this video thumbs up and I would love to know what are your favorites. You can leave me comments and I would love to see what your favorites are. I'm so happy I just want to get back on track and make videos each week like I used to do. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Kisses. Bye.